Our time is back, baby, and we're going to take you through a great tutorial in this video. So make sure you stay tuned and enjoy. It's Amanda. Welcome back to Local Love. Uh, I am here today with a little art time for you guys. I know it's been a while. I'm sorry. So we're going to do a little art time today. We're going to be making some bookmarks. Uh, and I know you're like, bookmarks? What do you mean? Well, we got some metal hooks that are bookmark hooks. These are the two I have today. So this one's kind of like a feather. Hopefully you guys can see that. And it's got the little loopy there so that you can add things to it. And then I have a second one that looks, and let me get a little closer because so you can see the pattern on this one. Kind of neat. And it also has a loop as well. And uh, so they're only about as big as your hand, roughly. Not too awful big. And of course, you would hang this part inside the book, bring for beads and dangles or whatever you want on this side cord. I mean, there's a number of things. I mean, obviously these are little. They're not very thin. I wouldn't call them super strong, although they're they're pretty durable. You know, not, nothing wrong with these. And uh, so that's what we're planning to do today is a little bit of art time. And I'm going to show you how to add the dangle onto those hooks. All right. So let's take a look. Now me, my biggest issue is that I have way way too many options <laughs> yeah I'm a bit of a bead hoarder this isn't even close to all of it I have so many more inside it's not even funny these were just the two most easily accessible options for beads so I brought both of these out to kind of look through you know I got ugh, literally so many so many different things in here ridiculous ridiculous um, I actually need to go through and organize all this one day so I've already pulled out some options and we're gonna take a look and see what we think. Now, what will you absolutely need? Well, it'll be your choice of beads. So obviously, you can put beads, you can use cord. You can pretty much do what you want. Um, but one thing you will need in order to hook it onto this, these little loopies is you're gonna need what they call a jump ring. Now, jump ring, just to show you what it looks like, jump ring will come like this and hopefully you guys can see that. It has like a little a little opening right there in the metal loop and uh, basically when you're done you have to slide it back in that same sideways you don't want to pull out on these because they'll never fit again they'll never fit right ever so they go side to side uh, you open it by sliding it to the side and then you close it by sliding it back the opposite way on the side so we've already kind of gone through and the other thing you're gonna need here so you definitely need these and uh, what I'm gonna be using as well and you have a choice here, uh, depending on if you just want your beads to end or if you want to add more flourishes to them, uh, you can get eye pins. And that's, that's these wire pieces. You can also make your own eye pins like these and make them longer if you want. Um, these are fairly short, which is shorter than I would have liked, but it's what I had today, so that's what we're using. And this one literally has like a pin end on it. So one of them's looped and one of them's a pin end. Uh, kind of like but they're they're duller on this side, you know, but they're uh, they're bendable You can use your pliers to bend them So you put the beads on there and if you want to add more loops or more designs you use the one with the little loop in the end uh, If you want it to just be one thing at the end, you know, no no more additions Just what's on the pin then you would use your eye pin with the pin head and not the loop alrighty guys, so I've kind of already gone through here and thought about it and tried to figure out what all I would want to do. So I've got some ideas and well, we're just going to kind of put everything aside and uh, get to looking at this and seeing what we think. So, I mean, obviously you can go in a variety of directions on this. Uh, the other thing besides jump rings, eye pins that you will need are these. These are round nosed round nosed uh, 
pliers. Mine are getting a little old. It's time for some new pliers, right? But they still work and they're very good actually. And you can use this to wrap the loops on the end after you add your beads. You can use it for a lot of things if you really want. There's kind of a cutter inside here as well. I wouldn't call it the best cutter ever. I mean, not even when these were new was it a great cutter. And then the last thing that you'll absolutely need is whatever you're going to add on to your bookmark, whether you're gonna use paper, you know, some people use a paper piece, some people use leather, uh, cord, beads, okay, is what we're looking at today. But you could literally add a lot of different things. So it's really, really up to you. All right, guys, so let me see here. Now that I'm out in the sunlight, I'm gonna look at some of these beads and it's decision time. All right, let's see if I can decide what we're planning to do here. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm excited. So we've made some decisions and I, you know, it's a beginner one and I'm not gonna go too crazy on it. Uh, we can look at maybe doing some harder ones in the future, but these are gonna be pretty basic. Uh, beginner bookmarking, if you will. And we'll see how they look and uh, give them a try. I, I kind of like this feather one. I like them both. I'm gonna do both of them. So uh, yeah, let's get started. All right, guys, so here's some of the beads I picked out there. Yeah, you know, obviously we're only doing these two. And uh, yeah, so I wanna do something pretty cool. And with this one, I think we're gonna do some pink. I found these this cool kind of like, looks sort of like uh, dragonfly wings, right? Uh, so I thought I found those and a squared off beads and some other like pink and uh, white beads that I think would be really cute with this one. And I'm having a little trouble deciding if I wanna put this above it or, but I think it, I don't think it would look as good below it. Um, maybe above it, it would be kind of cool or have this one at the bottom. Although I thought about printing this one with that one. So, hmm. So I think the first thing we wanna do on this then is we're gonna go ahead and add a jump ring on both. Oh, this one doesn't have the both. Ah, let's get one that has both. I have a bunch of these and many of them are just fours. I wish they came in twos. <laughs> I have ones or I have fours. There's no in between for me. Um, I imagine you can get them with just two holes, but uh, that's all right. We can maybe add something else cool to these other holes or we may just leave them. They're kind of ornamental the way they are. So first off, to open a jump ring. So you want a grip a hold of it. You want to find that opening and there it is. Hopefully you guys can see it. If you can't, I apologize. I'll try to zoom in a little and you move it to the side just like that. And then you take your item and you hope that it's big enough for your jump ring because you didn't check. There are gonna be times you're gonna need bigger jump rings and so this object may not work because it appears to me, well, no, I think it will. Yeah, no, we got it in there. And there's plenty of room. You just wanna make sure. So now you're gonna go back in, whoops, and not knock it back out again. <laughs> gonna go back in and do the opposite, which is just to bend it right back to that edge again. As close to that edge as you can get it actually. So if you can give it a little oomph. You don't ever wanna push it inwards. You wanna come back out if it didn't match up and try it again and get as close as possible. See how tight that is to that? Now we can uh, connect this to our this. In fact, I should have left it open. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, maybe we'll leave that at the bottom. Let's go ahead and put the other one on because we got to put another one on anyway. Let's not make things harder than they have to be. All right, guys, so now we're going to open up another jump ring. Guys, you're going to hear a lot of noises people coming, people going. You're going to hear birds, you're going to hear cats. We are outside, it is a beautiful day, and it's how I like to do my videos. So I hope you appreciate that and I hope you like them. All right guys, now we're gonna go into this other hole on the opposite side, and we're going to feed this into it. And then wrap it around so it comes back to the top. We're just gonna turn it. We're not wrapping anything, we're just literally gonna turn it. There we go, so that that part's at the top. And then again, you wanna go as close as you can back Till that matches up. All right guys, so we're gonna put two jump rings. Uh, we're gonna put a second one in because I don't think this will make enough clearance if I don't. 
between this and that, I think it'll rub. So we're gonna go ahead and add a second jump ring on and close this one off. And again, you just want to go back sideways like you came in. There you go, and you match them back up. Very important that if you don't get it as close as you'd like on the first pass, that you pull it back out to the side and you do it until you get it right. All right, so on this top one now, we should be able to open this one and feed in the bookmark. So let's, let me find my end here. There it is, I see it. There it is. Okay, so we're gonna open that one. We're gonna loop it on to, okay, and then we're gonna loop it on to our bookmark. And this is where we're gonna pray a little that it all works out. So I think I'm gonna put it on the bottom part so it's not in my way and see if we're gonna need a second jump ring or if this is gonna do. So we're gonna try it this way first. I would think this would be fine. Yeah, it should be just fine. So you wanna let it hang so you can make sure before you finish. And then we're gonna put this back in and we're gonna seal it up, okay? If at any point I went off the camera, I apologize, guys. All right, so now we're gonna put it through there get it as tight next to that as we can. So that they match up and that should, I think we, we've got enough clearance there. Yeah. What do you guys think? So if you wanted, you could add more rings there. Uh, you could add another eye pin with more beads. You can make this as long as you want, but since these are little, I didn't want to go too hard. So we're gonna put that on, and that's actually probably a little too much, honestly. Um, so now, we're gonna set this aside over here, and we're gonna put together our dragonfly. And since we're gonna be ending it, we're gonna use this nail head pin end, no loop on the end. So now you wanna start with the, the, the bead you want to be on the bottom. So we're gonna start with the little one, and I picked this little clear white one. I don't know if you guys can see it in my hand here. We're gonna feed it onto this, just like that. And now I am going to put the next little ball, just a pink kind of, uh, you know, just a regular clear ball, acrylic ball bead. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go just a little little fatter with this pink ball here and I found this beautiful squared bead which makes me think of the body of a dragonfly I like it better that way it looks more like a dragonfly to me it's a little too round I'm gonna see if I can find a middle sized pink bead there maybe even one that's just a little different color yeah, I think that'll work better than this big fat pink one. I don't think it'll work as good. All right, so we're gonna try that again. And now we've switched it up to a darker pink color, which I kind of like for the contrast. That way none of these beads really match. Kind of neat, I like that. Very cool. And I think because we did that, we might even have room for one more little bead. Let's see what I can find in here. Bum, bum, bum. Well, kind of like that. What do you guys think? It's flat on one side, but it probably won't stay there. I don't know, depends on how tight we make it. You guys like that? I think I like that. And we still have enough to be able to make a loop. So I think we're going to go with that. Pretty excited. All right, so now, first thing you want to do is you want to make your loop. You want to leave yourself a little room here, okay? So you bend your, the best and easiest way I've ever found is to bend it kind of in an L right there, like we did, okay? 
and I'm gonna try it again. There we go. And again, you wanna make sure that you get this in as close as you can to being back around to where your beginning is. You don't want there to be a gap, otherwise things can come loose. Boy, that sucker sure is turning and it's really annoying. All right, we're gonna try this again real quick. There we go, straighten her up. And hopefully you guys can kind of see what I did here. All right, so we made a beautiful little dragonfly. I think he's cool. He's our interpretation, okay? We could have made him whatever color we wanted. I thought that was neat. All right, so now we have this sitting over here waiting for us. Uh, and I think he's gonna be pretty cool on the bottom of this. What do you think? I think that's gonna be perfect. And I think it's just a little shorter than the whole project. You don't want it to be too long with one like this. I mean, you could make it as long as you want. But I find when the hooks are that short, you don't want to go too long because then it's going to just trail. I mean, if you want it really long, you go right ahead. Um, okay, so now we're going to go back to this bottom one here on the pink. And we want to open that back up because now we're going to put our dragonfly in there. Oh, goodness. Man, it's struggling. There we go. Okay, guys, one thing that's very important, always bring extra stuff with you. Uh, there's always a chance that something will drop or, and you want to have it on a towel or something where it's not going to bounce. I find that those uh, things you put under carpet to keep it from sliding uh, or put in a cabinet that have the little rubber on a netting. Uh, I'm not sure what you call that. Uh, rubber mat, I guess. Those are really ideal. Um, so let's just put this in here again. Okay, now that we've got that back in there because, yeah, we had a little trouble and I had to replace it. That's okay. That's part of the deal. All right, let's get it in there. I need to make it a little wider. There we are. All right, now that we have that in there, we're going to take our dragonfly and we're just going to drop, drop that on there. And now the important part is to make sure that you close this correctly. And that is important because everything's sliding. We want to make sure that we're bringing them in together. From a sideways position though, you can't just close it any other way. It needs to go back sort of like that. So we didn't quite get there. So To try it the opposite way. We're going to try to put this on here. And then I think I'm going to go ahead and put another ring on there. And let's just go ahead and close this one back. Hopefully you guys are able to see this. We're just basically going the opposite of what we did to open it, which is just straight back up. So it just connects like that. All right. Now we're gonna open this new ring wide too because this thing is sort of thick. So you wanna make sure that you have it open wide enough to hold your item. Sometimes it's easier to feed it in from the other side. So we're gonna do that. There we are. Yeah, I think that was the cure. It just needed a second jump ring. All right. Now this is where it gets tricky because we've already had trouble closing a jump ring on this one three times or so. So we're gonna push it a little bit. I'm gonna push it in a little because we had to make it super wide. Sometimes it helps if you just grab it and pull it this way as you're turning it. You just wanna make sure that it comes at it. If you opened it really wide, you need to make sure that you close it back the way you had it. That can be a bit tricky at times. Especially if everything is sliding. The more you have on here, the harder it is to grab. See, it is overlapped, but we don't really want it that way. There we go. See, now that looks pretty good. You want them to work out properly. 
guys and that is our first little bookmark now we could add things here we could glue stuff onto this this is shell by the way this is a it looks like they might have put a, a shiny coat or a lacquer on it but it is some sort of a shell like a uh, I'm not sure maybe uh, it's not mother of pearl but something like that you know like the inside of a shell but that is our first little bookmark and I hope you guys like it I think it's pretty cute all right so we're gonna try another one now I actually like that I think I'm gonna give this to my mother she loves dragonflies would have been better if it was a flamingo but she she'll love it all right so I'm gonna move some of these beads back and we're just gonna kind of go through and figure out what we want to do for our second one. Now, I have some ideas already, obviously. And uh, I think on this one, we are going to use the one that already has a loop in it. Okay, and to that loop, we're going to go ahead. We're going to open up a jump ring. You know, like we do, sideways out like that. You want it to be like this. And we're just going to slide it in. Okay, now on top of that, we're gonna take, I think we're gonna use this little one. It's just another piece of shell with just one hole in it. And I probably should put it on the other side because there's more room on that end. Whoopsie. There we go. Let it drop down. Bring this other side back up and get ready to close it. And so now we're gonna close the jump ring And by the way, guys, if you have two pairs of pliers or a jump ring uh, ring, it actually goes a lot better. This, by the way, got very hot. We're gonna put it in the shade. That little sucker keeps burning my arm. All right, guys, so we are going to go ahead. Now we've got this connected to this little loopy eye pin. And I did that by putting the jump ring on and then connecting the jump ring onto here. All right, so now let's put some beads on. So I'm gonna go with this cute little iridescent number here. It's like an, hopefully you guys can see that in the light. It's a little extra sunny all of a sudden. The sun decided to move on us today, so it might get a little bright. And if it does, you know, I apologize. All right, so now I'm gonna kind of put this oval kind of aqua bead on there. I think that is very pretty next to that AB bead. And then this cool star. I don't know if you guys can see that, but when you get it in the light, it's got a little rhinestone in it and then some little silver to accent it. Very cute. Kind of a southwestern-y feel. Wasn't exactly what I was going for. And then I have a bicone bead, which is just a beautiful aqua, a very pale, kind of a lighter green color. All right, so this is what we're shooting for. And as you see, we still have enough. It looks like we have enough to make our loop. So I'm going to go ahead and bend it. And we're going to start, you want to kind of start towards the end to make life a little easier for you. And you might have to straighten it here and there. But the important thing is just to make sure that you make it all the way back around so it's fully closed. Biggest problem is when you get to this level, everything's sliding. So there's nothing to hold on to to help you get leverage on it so it's a little harder to do here we go i would say that's a success now it's time for another jump ring all right okay so we're going to open it up a little we're going to put it in this little loop And I think I'll have enough clearance on this one to just add it. That should be fine. So mine's not quite as long as, long as the other one is compared to it, but I kind of like it like that. And like I said, these are very basic. You can get really fancy with these, but this is how your jump ring should look when it's closed properly. And that is our second bookmark very very cute I hope you guys can see that the light is kind of crazy on me out here but uh, it's got that scrolling in it it's very pretty very very pretty 
And so here is our final results. This bookmark's gonna be for me. And I made this other one for my mother. <laughs> and yeah, so now we've got some little bookmarks. And you just put this part into the book and this just kind of dangles off to the side to let you know where your place is. So very, very cool and uh, very, very easy, guys. This is super easy. You don't even need that much to make something like this. These bookmarks are not that expensive. You can get them on uh, uh, Wish. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them. I get a lot. I got a lot of my beads from Fire Mountain Gems. Uh, and places like that, but uh, you can get stuff at Michael's But I got like a big connection a collection of these kind of bookmarks and some other ones For really really inexpensively and I believe I got them on wish or fire mountain gyms I don't remember which one this time because I used both uh, You do have to be careful what you get from wish obviously you're not getting the most quality stuff But when it comes to some of these beads, you don't really need anything that high quality. I mean these are all acrylic Except for this one. This one's either pewter or silver. I do not remember. I'm guessing it's pewter uh, or nickel free metal. Um, and, uh, you know, the only thing like these, this is kind of like a mother of pearl type of thing. But I'm sure it's not real mother of pearl. It's a uh, clamshell or mussel shell, something, maybe abalone shell, I think. Um, you know, none of these are super expensive. These bicones are a little bit more. Uh, but you can get cheap versions of them. This particular one just happens to actually be a Swarovski. Um, you know, because I'm special like that, I guess. I liked it. It was the right color. I loved it. So that is our art time for today. And I hope you guys liked it. And I hope you guys will make some of your own. And uh, if you do, make sure you don't forget to link us on Instagram and show us what you made. And uh, basically, that is local love underscore now. If you do this professionally, uh, make sure that you hit us up and let us know if you're a local company especially, because we love to share that too. But these are our bookmarks today, and I hope that you really enjoyed them. I think they came out really, really pretty. Sorry for the glare. There we go. That's maybe a little better. This little book, this little uh, dragonfly one is pretty, pretty darn adorable. And I just think these came out very, very good. guys so that was our bookmarks and I hope that you guys enjoyed watching us make them as much as I enjoyed making them I think they turned out really spectacular and again you can do this too it's very simple and uh, turned out perfect and I'm very happy with these these are very simple maybe we'll try some more elaborate ones a little later on but right now that's the ones we made and uh, yeah so it didn't take us too awful long. As you can see, it is getting hotter out here though. So I am done for now. But uh, other than that, make sure you check out our other videos. And if you like what we're doing, make sure that you subscribe. We really appreciate you guys watching us. And uh, we put up four videos a week. And we'd love to have you as part of our local love family. So other than that, guys, till next time, peace. Forget to like and subscribe and share with all your friends and hit that bell so you know when we have a new video